Hey guys, I got a couple of transmissions on the table. One being a TKO 600, and the other one a T5Z. A lot of our customers ask us what would be the difference between the two as far as torque capacity, what fits their vehicle, etc. So let's just dive into it. This T5Z, this is a five speed transmission that has been around for 25 plus years. Most famously, it's gone into the Fox Body Mustangs. It's a very compact design. In fact, very lightweight too. You can see I can pick it up in the spot. It's a, a 10 spline input shaft, 28 spline output shaft. It has your fittings for the neutral safety switch, your backup light, your speedo cable. The shifter location, there's one shifter on this and you can pop it off if you want to go with a, a relocated shifter. Ford tells us that this handles up to about 330 pounds of torque. We've seen these in vehicles in 400 plus horsepower and it's held up just fine. So I think it does depend on, on how you drive the car, how aggressive it is. Um, I think the enemy of a T5 is a very aggressive clutch uh, that puts a lot of clamping load on the transmission and also sticky tires. So going with a stage one clutch and regular tires, uh, bang for the buck, it's a pretty good transmission. Moving over to this TKO 600, you can see it's, it's a much beefier transmission, can withstand up to 600 pounds of torque. Um, some of the details on it, 26 spline input shaft, 31 spline output. It has multiple shifter locations, so that makes it nice for, for a variety of vehicles to fit into. It has your, your fittings on there for the backup light, mechanical and electrical speedo cable, and uh, your neutral safety switch. As far as the TKO fitting into, into a lot of uh, muscle car restoration projects, it will swap in there. They are a little bit bigger, so sometimes the trans tunnel needs to be banged out in order to have a, a, a perfect driveline angle. This transmission, if you're right on the border between whether or not you, you want to go with the T5 or the TKO 600, maybe in that 400 plus horsepower range, you're not sure, I would just say go with the TKO.